Candidate for governor Jill Long Thompson says her campaign is making education a top priority with the unveiling of its new plans. News Channel 15's Drew Blair joins us to explain in this campaign countdown report. This week, Jill Long Thompson and her running mate Denny Oxley released details on how they plan to strengthen Indiana's economy by reforming education. If we're going to get our economy moving again, uh, we have to make an investment in public education. Long Thompson says if elected governor, she plans to make high schools more flexible. The campaign plans to do so by allowing students a fifth year to earn a diploma. The idea is if more time is needed to complete the education, having that option would prevent students from dropping out of school. One in three of our high school freshmen are not graduating from high school. Students can already stay in school longer than four years, but they aren't counted toward the official graduation rate. According to the Long Thompson Oxley campaign, a higher graduation rate means lower state spending. It's costing Indiana about $62.5 million annually, uh, which can be attributed to the high number of dropouts, either through incarceration or through social programs food stamps, etc. Another component of the campaign's education plans include expanding the 21st Century Scholars Program. That's a state assistance program geared to help students from low and middle income families go to college. So that we have more money available so that we can have more children uh, becoming 21st Century Scholars. When asked to respond to the campaign's idea, Governor Daniel's office issued this statement. We appreciate any suggestions as Governor Daniels continues to do all he can to improve education in Indiana, but these are not new ideas. They have already been proposed and implemented around the state. When it comes to education, both Long Thompson and Governor Daniels do agree on at least one topic, fully funding full day kindergarten. Drew Blair, News Channel 15.